Monday morning, and welcome to another Memphis Monday. As you can see, I specifically brought my chair right over here in this corner because this is where the boat was. I took it out of here because it was cramping, cramping my style. So I thought that this would be a a good uh, a good chance for a shop tour. Haven't done one of those for about a year and a half, so let's. Uh, Let's do that today. So let's uh, knock off the chit chat and get Here's the tour. Boat. I've been uh, I've been cussing that thing forever. So I finally did something about it and moved it outside. This is an outdoor outdoor view of my shop. I've got uh, two garage doors that are. Uh, Reinforced for hurricanes. Have my own uh, separate service, uh, electrical service from the house. I have my own meter. Let's go inside. You might, might remember this. We uh, put this deck in last summer. Um, it's got a little ramp. And we put this ramp in here uh, so we can get things in and out of the store without uh, doing too much gymnastics. Kind of an overview of the shop from uh, the length the is side 38 door. feet and the depth is 27 feet. Has 10 foot ceilings. And another feature this uh, garage has when I finished it 11 years ago, I finished it, this is not wall, wall board. That is half inch plywood. Everything, uh, Everything you see in here is attached directly to the, to the plywood. The lights, the garage door openers, uh, shelves, well, everything. Uh, there's no One of the factors you gotta love about this shop is that I have 34, 34 wall outlets. Let me uh, let me continue by saying that I've naturally got all the requisite tools, um, sanders and and band saws and lathes and grinders and anvils and more band saws and joiners and every hand tool a woodworker has a right to own. Um, there's a Planer, but I'm not going to talk about any of that stuff. Um, that I'm just going to talk about the things that I think make this shop. Uh, One special. of the things I've really concentrated in the shop is to have plenty of workbenches. This is what I call my heavy workbench. Uh, you could put a small car on top of that thing and it would uh, ride fine. Uh, it's got steel six steel wheels on it it is built like a uh, this a is a uh, workbench that I use as a I can use as a workbench I even have a shop chair by it um, but I also have that platform up there where I can use it as a scaffold when I'm working this is the, the overheads secondary workbench that we were working on last uh, week I'll show you and show you notionally this is a a uh, very short, small work table when I just want to get something small up off the floor uh, to work on it. Like if I'm working on drawers or something, uh, they're too tall to put on a big workbench, but they're too short. To Another thing that's floor. very important is storage, and I've gone to extremes to get uh, good storage. Here's a four cabinet doors, um, and behind the doors are two levels of storage. Lay that is my cabinet with storage underneath it. Storage underneath my uh, drum and sander. I got plenty of storage here uh, on my scaffolding. I got these back from my wife because I built for something else, but these drawers here uh, carry 
my uh, nails and staples and stuff. I got a different size in each drawer. And these I just uh, keep junk. Last week, if you recall, uh, we, we, we invented these slide out shelves for toolboxes. I got uh, four shelves under this thing now that all slide out and they're built stout enough to uh, more storage. Toolboxes. This is a uh, large toolbox we built. I got, I could put all kinds of tools in there and I got this, this toolbox on top of this tools. More storage. You got uh, some little, I built a little cabinet underneath my chop saw. Interestingly, there's nothing in there. You know you're getting uh, real close on storage when you got cabinets that actually and finally have my uh, my main cabinet it consists of 36 cabinet doors and five shelf levels i can pretty much uh, put everything in the garage in the shop in these uh, another in bit these of storage I, I have for these uh, oak cabinets i'm using it for wood storage right now but these could be used for uh, just regular cabinets if I wanted to. And underneath the cabinets, I have room for waste cans and uh, shop backs. And Another important uh, thing that I think is really important in a shop is good lighting. And to that end, I've installed 24 fluorescent lights in addition to this uh, lowered light rack here. I have several different uh, dust collection schemes um, going on. This is uh, this is one here. It, it was a dust collector. I took the collection bag off, and I'm just basically dust. blowing the right out in the yard. Um, and you look out there, and you say, "Well, where's the sawdust?" Well. I've been blowing it out there for about 10 years and uh, uh, I don't, this isn't my only dust collection so it either blows away or it just falls on the ground and fertilizes the grass. But this uh, dust collection system I use for my planer. It's got that up and over we built once. Um, it also uh, takes a draw on my jointer and my most effective uh, dust collection I've been able to come up with from my table saw is just to put a uh, a shop back and hook it to the back port um, ever since I've done this I haven't had any more problems with dust from my uh, table saw and my dust collection for the uh, for my chop saw is a small uh, a small shop back that sits on a little platform comes off the back of the chop saw stand and takes a, uh, a suction directly. Okay, the next thing I want to talk plate. about is a shop organization and if you've been watch, watching my videos uh, for a while you'll notice that uh, it never looks the same and the reason it never looks the same is because just about everything is on wheels. My large sanders on wheels, my small belt sanders on wheels, my uh, scroll saws on wheels, drum sander on wheels, heck even my fans are on wheels. My large, large, heavy workbench on wheels. Uh, you know, my anvil there's on wheels. The uh, planer's on wheels. All my benches are on wheels. So that the long and short of it is, I don't be too repetitive, but 
the long and short of it is I can arrange my shop to accommodate whatever job I happen to be working on. As a matter of fact, when I was working on the boat, if you've, if you've seen any of my boat videos, I had the boat right here in the center of the shop where these, uh, where these workbenches are. Had a long ways in the shop and put the uh, all oh, my tools this one on more the time outside. To puke, but you know the old saying that uh, everything has a place and everything in its place is a uh, biggest cliche in the world, but it's absolutely true. And I carry to carry it to extremes. When I if I have a plumbing job, I come to this blue toolbox. I don't have to go anywhere else. It's here. If I got electric. I got my electric toolbox right here. I got general tools here. If I need router bits, I need router bits. Where do you think I got? Where do you think I go? Right there. I don't have to look for router bits anywhere else. They're all in there. Man, I, I need 18, 18 gauge brads. They're all in here. There aren't any brads anywhere else. They're all in here. 16 gauge and 15 gauge in here and if I need some uh, quarter inch or half inch drive sockets uh, and what if I need Forstner go? bits or drill bits or this is another uh, idea I came up with this big toolbox here has things on it that I may only use once every 10 years. This is for valve grinding. Um, compression tester. Well, that's a vacuum tester. Um, a stud finder. And okay, when I open this first drawer here, I know what this is. This is things like erasers and pencils and rulers and all that drawing stuff. I go up here in this top uh, drawer here, this top shelf, I know that is things like pliers, second drawer screwdrivers, end wrenches. It's yeah, the same like thing over wrench. here. If I need if I need a back saw, coping saw. Uh, stapler, more saws, keyhole saw, hacksaw. I know that they're on and the And this is uh, where I keep my electric can tools. You're in on the build on this. Have you ever went looking for sandpaper? Well, if I need uh, 220 sandpaper, there it is. There's 150, 100. 40. Well, I don't usually give uh, previews of coming attractions, but in this case, I want to shame myself into doing something about it. See those clamps, those bar clamps are just leaning against the wall, and I got those, uh, those straight edge uh, Bora clamps and all that stuff laying over there in that corner. I think I'm going to take down this, uh, this wood rack up here and either store that stuff away or throw it away and put me some horizontal pegs to put those clamps on. Well, that'll do it for another, uh, that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. Uh, I hope you got some uh, takeaways out of this. I hope it wasn't too preachy. The advice I'm giving is, is kind of uh, inane. Uh, and that is, uh, uh, be neat and organized. Well, you, you got that advice when you're in the third grade, so it's nothing new, but it's, uh, Something to think about, and um, I guess I'm just showing you how I've uh, solved that puzzle. Yes, that's about it. I am serious about putting that rack in for those uh, long clamps over there, though. Get them all clean up that uh, back corner. I think, I'm gonna, I think I may have to make that a project here pretty soon. Well, thanks for watching. I can't think of anything else. Yes, I can. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday.
Thanks for watching.